नमो भगवते ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय stay also huh? Radha Gopinath ki Prabhupada ki jai Grantra Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai Arriba So this morning what happens, we are reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10th, Chapter 9th, text also is number 10. Please repeat. <clears throat> Anvanchamana janani brahat chalat. Shroni bhara kranta gati sumadhyama. Javena Vishran Sita Kesha Bandhana Chuta Prasuna Nugati Paramrashat Anvanchamana Janani Brahachalat Shroni bhara kranta gati sumadhyama Javena vishran sita kesha bandhana Chuta prasuna nugati paramrishat
Being overburdened by the weight of her large breasts, she became tired and had to reduce her speed. Sumadhyama. Because of her thin waist. Javena. Because of going very fast. Visransita Kesha Bandhana. From her arrangement of hair. Which had become loosened. Chuta Prasuna Anu Gatihi. She was followed by the flowers following after her. Excuse me, falling after her. They were also following and falling. Paramrishat. Finally captured, Finally captured Krishna without fail. Krishna. Translation and purport by Srila Prabhupada Ki. While following Krishna, Mother Yashoda, her thin waist overburdened by her heavy breasts, naturally had to reduce her speed because of following Krishna very swiftly her hair became loose and the flowers in her hair were following after excuse me falling after her yet she did not fail to capture her son Krishna Report. Yogis cannot capture Krishna by severe penances and austerities, but Mother Yashoda, despite all obstacles, was finally able to catch Krishna without difficulty. There's a lot of difficulty <laughs> for Yashoda. Anyway, we'll talk about it. <clears throat> this is difference between a yogi and a bhakta. Yogis cannot enter even the effulgence of Krishna. Yasya prabha prabhavato jagadanda koti koti shu. Brahma Sanyuta 540. 
In that effulgence, there are millions of universes, but the yogis and the jnanis cannot enter that effulgence. Even after many, many years of austerities, whereas bhaktas can capture Krishna simply by love and affection, this is the example shown here by Mother Yashoda. Krishna therefore confirms that if one wants to capture him, one must undertake devotional service. Bhaktiamam abhijanati yavanyaschasmitatvataha tato mam tatvato gyatva vishate tad anantaram. Bhagavad Gita 1855. Bhaktas enter even the planet of Krishna very easily. But the less intelligent yogis and jnanis, by their meditation, remain running after Krishna. Even if they cannot enter Krishna's effulgence, they fall down. End of the purport. Anvanchamana janani brahat chalat shroni bhara kranta gati sumadhyama javena vinsrasita kesha bandhana chuta prasuna nugati para While following Krishna, Mother Yashoda, her thin vest overburdened by her heavy breasts, naturally had to reduce her speed. Because of following Krishna very swiftly, her hair became loose and flowers in her hair were falling after her. Yet she did not fail to capture her son Krishna. Did not fail. Meaning, she captured, did not fail to capture. Mother Yashoda binds Lord Krishna. Is the chapter, is the theme. Mm -hmm. So you have been following through this chapter for some time now. Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya. And uh, That was Diwali, yes, do you remember? You forgot? Or you don't know? You forgot means you knew but then you forgot. That's one thing and you, you never knew this. That's another thing. That this pastime took place on Day of Deepavali, around the time Lord had, Ram had returned to Ayodhya, that's another, in another age, previous age. So that day, this wonderful pastime, the Mother Leela takes place. It's amazing, Leela, wonderful Leela, wonderful Krishna, wonderful Yashoda, and uh, 
her attempt to capture Krishna, bind him, punish him. And the series of events had taken place uh, as you have gone through. <laughs> Krishna got up on his own that morning. Uti uti go pala. That did not happen. <laughs> I mean, every morning she used to wake him up as if he had been sleeping all night long, thinking that he was sleeping. Vaishwad also did not know he was out in the forest. Kunja Bihari, that all night long he had been doing Kunja Bihar and but just prior to, anyway, I think we'll have to go faster than that. <laughs> so, uh, so Krishna on his own he got up, Yashoda was not around, this was exception. Pro probably only day in his Krishna's life this happened. That he gets up, or he was not even woken up. Only he was hungry, so he got up. <laughs> Thinking of honoring Mahaprasad, they go in the prasad. Yeshoda was not around, yet he had to look for Yeshoda. Very Yeshoda, Maya, Maya, where are you? Where are you? And uh, well, this is. Krishna is looking for Yashoda. Hmm? Krishna is looking for his devotee. Yashoda, Yashoda, Maya. So that's the already the affectionate relationship. So finally, as Krishna has found. Yashoda, and uh, well, normally she would run to him, but she remained busy, hmm? churning the butter, and Krishna was not very happy, the child was not very happy that she thinks her household duties are more important than attending him. During early morning hours, she doesn't come to you and wake him up and doesn't feed him. Instead, she is busy taking care of churning business. So as he stood there watching Yashoda churning, the butter, which was, of course, for him only. <clears throat> and there is already more wonderful description of Yashoda. We are hearing something in this verse, but you had been hearing, reading, in the previous verses also, the description of Yashoda. She is a lady, of course. Vashukadeva Goswami, Goswami, he doesn't mind describing the beauty of woman 
a lady, Yashoda, the way she is mm, churning and uh, all of, and what is happening to her mm, earrings are going this way, that way, and the bangles are there, they are making some sound, and the, the breasts and the hips of Yashoda, she's an elderly lady, so uh, the larger hips, <laughs> so they go some is taking a note of the personality of Yashoda, describing Yashoda. is <clears throat> he's, he's continuing here, so she is Sumadhyama, mm. thin vest, heavy breast, large hips, as a result, she is finding difficult time to run swiftly. Her speed has been slowed down. And also while she was churning butter, there is also mention of even then the flowers were falling down. Because the flowers were thinking, this is a thought of our acharyas are thinking. They say they say that the flowers are thinking. <laughs> flowers are what are they doing? Flowers are thinking. In flower could think that. Uh, Actually, we should be at the feet of this lady, not on the head of this lady. That is not our position. We should be at her feet. So they are one by one, or many at a time, are falling down at the feet of Yashoda. This is also a description or Sukhdev Goswami has taken note as if and well he is watching he is watching that pastime he is right there and taking notes and uh, okay well, the hairs are loosened <laughs> the flowers are falling down look at the hips and uh, this and that is, hmm? and he's he's writing that down. And as we read and hear, then we uh, paint the picture again. Huh? The lady and this and that and the pot and the churning and uh, Krishna arrives and so it is not audio, but it is also video situation. <clears throat> Nothing is left to our imagination. Mm. All the information is there. So as Krishna's stood there hoping that she would take note of his presence and rush to him but as the, that did not happen he wants to stop this business of churning and he's wondering how this could be stopped. So he quickly rushes forward and he captures the churning rod. And with that, everything stops. 
well done, well done, good boy, good boy. Very intelligent. Mother Yashoda is very impressed with her son. Not only he is growing in age, but he is also becoming more mature in, in, in his intelligence. Of course, he did not consult anybody how to stop. Just do one act and everything stops. He could have held Yashoda's hand, but she could have gone on with another hand. <laughs> or he could have done other things, but churning could have probably gone on in some form, in some shape. So only way to stop this was to, probably you could not have thought this. <laughs> If you had to stop your mother <laughs> churning the butter, then Krishna, very intelligent, he, he captured and everything full stop. Everything stopped, stand still. And then, then he showed the, well, <laughs> Even then, Yeshoda was not, well, accepting him or she was still in her, in the mood of churning butter or not paying attention to him. So Krishna jumped as Yeshoda was still standing. Krishna jumped hmm, with one foot on her knee and he jumped. His target is her breasts. He is hungry, he is hungry. Hence he is angry also because he is hungry. And then realizing that he, the child is hungry, Yashoda sits down and begins feeding the breast milk. Yashoda cha mahabhaga. Yashoda, very, very fortunate that the stanam. <laughs> I forgot the, that the Lord, the Supreme Personality of Godhead uh, drinks her breast milk. That is a good fortune of, of Yeshoda. So she sits, sits down and begins feeding and uh, well he had just started his meal or drinking the milk. And soon there was a sound from a, from the kitchen side, the sound of overflowing of the milk. Hmm? You have heard that sound? You know that sound? Are you familiar? Matajis are familiar. So immediately, Yeshua had to attend to that milk. So his belly was just not even half full. She so dumps him and rushes to the kitchen. So there was another reason for Krishna to be angry or angrier. More angry. So, uh, First, that milk is for him. So in the service of the Lord, in the service of the Lord, see, he runs there. There's a Krishna consciousness involved. Also, 
she wants to uh, save the life save the milk save the milk from committing suicide the milk is thinking now the flowers were thinking before now who is thinking the milk is thinking milk was thinking the soon he will krishna will drink me i would be very fortunate that would be perfection of my life <laughs> but now as milk took the note that he is drinking the his mother's breast milk he is not going to drink me oh what good is my life he is not going to drink me today i am going to give up my life oh how could i give up my life uh, the fire is around so milk the pretext of the uh, overflowing milk is throwing itself or himself <laughs> into the fire to commit suicide and mother yashoda wants to stop this act of suicide as another reason she is running into the kitchen <coughs> and well then krishna was left all alone for a few moments and he, as he was angrier only thing he could see was a the butter milk pot so she, he takes a rock and breaks it the butter at the top and the butter and milk at the bottom everything is all over in that room well till the breaking point it was okay but now he did not realize <laughs> this is what would happen the butter all over and very soon he showed that is going to be coming back so he's he's scared and he wants to he's fleeing in fear he's very fearful now of yashoda coming and capturing him beating him or so uh, he wants to hide so he runs out of that room and as he he ran through the the flood of butter and butter milk in that room and as he walks out he left the uh, footprints impressions so that Yashoda could very easily follow him a big Nanda Bhavan he had not realized that he would be leaving so some, some signs footprints with the butter butter milk footprints so as Yashoda returns and there's the whole catastrophic situation there See so oh, who else that's that's him must be him that must be him who is he that must be krishna so now where is he he is not on the scene so he is now following those footprints going all over nanda bhavan and this time she has a stick in her hand 
when I find him now, I'm going to beat him. I'm going to teach him some lessons so that he would behave in future. So as the Krishna in meantime had gone to the right spot at the right time, <laughs> he found another the butter pot hanging from the ceiling and as he was hungry only little milk he had taken and so much more he had to eat so uh, he climbs up well it's too high for him to reach so he's thinking how could I how could I reach that and he looks around what does he find? He finds a mortar. And he, he drags it, places right underneath that, the butter pot hanging from the ceiling. Climbs up and then he reaches the butter. And he is enjoying. Ah... Uh, Maya, Mohi Makhana Bhava, he says. Yashoda, of course, that morning he's not saying that, but he's, he said that another time. Oh, Yashoda, you know, oh, you know, Yashoda, I like butter. You know, I like butter. Your chapan bhog and this and that, I don't like. I don't like that. I like butter. Maya. So he was relishing butter, not eating butter. He was relishing that butter. And when his belly was full, he was also, he invited some monkeys, come, 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 come. Charity begins at home when he was full. <laughs> and he's remembering, okay, monkey friends, please come, please come, please come. And you know, you dear monkeys, and I'm very grateful to you, you know, last time we were together, you helped me so much, especially building that bridge to go to Lanka, and then battle with Ravan. You fought, not caring for your own lives. I'm very grateful, I'm very thankful. But that time I was just a forest dweller. I had nothing to offer you. But now I have something, a little butter for you. Please take this butter. Thank you, monkey friends. So he's, he's also thought of the Acharyas, when Krishna is feeding the monkeys, he's thinking of the monkey army. And uh, he's, he wants to reward them, express his gratitude, not just lip service, but to do something practical for those who helped him. So he was helping. Serving those monkeys by feeding the butter. At the same time, he was aware that, you know, very soon Yashoda is going to find out. He must be, she must be looking for me right now. So with his sidelong 
glances. He was keeping an eye on Yashoda. And finally she was there, and not by herself, but with stick in the hand. That explains a lot. <laughs> what is on her mind. Now she is not going to spare me. So he jumps off the mortar and begins running and Yashoda is running right behind him. Anvanchamana janani brahachala. The following Krishna swiftly. Now it is happening. She is following Krishna very swiftly. Janani anvanchamana. And what, what kind of janani? Brahat. Brahachalam. Brihat, well, or the hips are, and the breasts are, breasts are large and heavy. Bhara Kranta. She is loaded with a heavy breast. As a result, the Gatihi, her speed is slowing down. And she is Sumadhyama, which is sign of her beauty, Sumadhyama, or Mandodari. That lady also was very beautiful. Wife of Ravan was beautiful. Hence, she gets the name Mandodari as Hanuman was looking for Sita in, in Lanka, he was going from palace to palace to palace to palace. In one palace, he saw this Mandodari. Her beauty resembled Sita's beauty. I mean, close. Especially Mandodari. She was also Sumadhyama. Lord Krishna also had addressed gopis as Sumadhyama. Swagatam, O Mahabhaga. Karavami Kim. You are welcome, you are welcome. Sumadhyama, oh beautiful ladies, you are welcome. But actually you should, you should not be here. You should go, go back. So Sumadhyama, the Yashoda is Sumadhyama. Javena Because of going very fast. Visransita Kesha Bandhana, the hair, the flower in the hair in South India. Hmm. This happens. We were just there a few days ago, and ladies coming to the temple also had flowers in their hair. So as so he's trying to go fast, the hair, the, the flowers would stay intact in the hair if lady would, would walk gently or in a normal speed. 
in order for flowers to fall down, what has to happen? There has to be some movement, some speed. So that is what Sukadeva Goswami is pointing out. She is running. She is doing her best. She is not fast enough. Because Krishna is fastest. He is very fast. And she is trying to catch up with him. But she is not able to do so because this and that. And as she is, oh, as a result, she is slowing down. But there is a speed. So she is fast enough so that the flowers would fall down from the from the hair and Krishna well Krishna's birth on the Nandosa news of Nandosa spread all over Braj Nandake Ghar Ananda Bhayo. Nanda ke ghara Ananda Bhayo. Nanda ke ghara Ananda Bhayo. What happened? Where are you going? You don't know. Other said, You don't know. Nanda ke ghara Ananda Bhayo. <laughs> they were not saying Krishna has taken birth or Nanda Maharaj, Yeshoda, have, they have given birth to a son. They were saying, Nanda ke ghara. Ananda Bhayo, Ananda Bhayo, Ananda Bhayo. Hmm? Ananda has appeared. The happiness has appeared in the home of Nanda Maharaj. Who is Anand? Krishna Anand. Krishna is that Anand. He is the source of Anand. Anand cannot exist without him. He is Sachidananda. That doesn't make him impersonal. Oh, he is Anand. God is truth. God is beauty. God is great. And these terms are used. That does not make God impersonal. Oh, his beauty, uh, his, his truth means he's finished, his only truth. <laughs> He doesn't exist, he's just the truth. <laughs> oh, he's just Anand, huh? he's just Anand. And you just have to experience Anand, and that's all. Hmm? Brahmanand. Experience the bliss of Brahman, and that is God. Oh, that is also God, partial, partially. But, yeah, Krishna, God, is a person. And that is what they were talking about. Well, Yashoda has given birth to Anand, Krishna Anand. That's why we are going, and not only going, we are running. And when those ladies were running, all the roads were leading to, there was one destination from all ten directions. Everyone was running to go cool. Ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, they're all running. They could not walk. Hmm? They could not walk. Someone was dragging them. Hmm? Krishna was hmm, adding some speed to their movement. And anyway, the point here is they're also... Sukadeva Goswami says, as those ladies going, walking, or even kind of running towards Gokul, the flowers were falling from their hair. And Sukadeva Goswami says that the, all the roars were your flowers were everywhere. Instead of talking how many people, how many ladies were going to Gokul, he doesn't say how many ladies were going to Gokul. 
He says, ladies were going to Gokul and the, hair, the flowers were falling and all the roads were, hmm? there were flowers everywhere. They were walking on the, hmm, the bed of roses or other flowers, Malathi or this flower, that flower. All those are walking. We're walking on the bed of flowers because so many ladies had walked ahead of them. So, uh, so those ladies, their hair falling. And here Yashoda, her hair also falling. Chuta, chuta. Hmm. Krishna is achyuta, but the flowers are chuta. Chuta prasuna anugatihi. She was followed by flowers falling after her. <coughs> so, uh, so she is running after him and she has a stick in the hand and Krishna is scared hmm? could you imagine supreme personality of Godhead is scared That, who was it? Kunti had difficulty understanding this when she was offering prayers to Krishna, who was now Dwarkadish, <laughs> seated in a chariot and ready to return to Dwar Dwarka. This is in Hastinapur. And she remembered that pastime, this pastime of Damodar Leela. And uh, she's bewildered. I am bewildered. I'm bewildered. And she remembers. You are so much scared of Yashoda. You are not even daring to look at her face to face. You are looking down. And you are trembling and tears were gliding down your cheeks. Yadvayat Vato Kapil there says, Lord Kapil, he is the Lord that, why is the air moving? Because the air is scared, or demigod is uh, in charge of air, is scared. So he wants to do his duty properly. Huh? Vato, hmm? Vati and Suryaha Tapati. I remember that verse, uh, Kapil Dev says, the sun is giving the light and the rain is, Indra is doing his duty of the showers, the rains, because they're all scared of maya dhyakshena prakriti suyate sa chara chara he is the superintendent. He is all in all. He is cause of all causes. And he is Ananta Koti Brahmanda Nayak. He is. But what you were doing that time, I saw you. You were, you were trembling. You were scared. You were shedding tears. 
there was Kunti. And so, so Yashoda is running and and running and running. Took quite some time. to uh, finally capture Krishna without fail. <laughs> Translation is finally. Param hmm? Rashad. This verse ends with Param Rashad. Finally, Krishna was captured. By, by that time, there was the afternoon. <laughs> The pastime started in the morning and running all around, all over the whole morning. I just, Krishna is running and Yashoda is trying to catch up with him, catch hold of him. So he's only captured. Yeah, you will be hearing it is by his Swabandhane. He allowed to be captured. Krapaya Asita Swabandhane. Dristva parishramam krishnaha kripaya asita swabandhane. This is the crux of the matter. By seeing the parishram, dristva parishramam krishnaha. Krishna saw, Krishna. Dristva Parishramam. Krishna saw the hard labor of Yashoda. Then Kripaya, out of his causeless mercy, Asita Swabandhane. He has come under control or the bondage. Now Yashoda is going to. She has now caught hold of him. But now Yashoda thinks, well, I, I cannot leave him alone. He's so scared today. If I leave him alone, he may go away, he may run away, because he's afraid of me. He may not stay at home. He may go elsewhere. He may go into the forest. It would be very difficult to then find him. So I better keep him at home. And I could do so only if I bind him. This is... Yashoda's logic. Uh, why bind him? Okay, she has caught hold of him and all that. But why bind? If he is not bound, he may go away. Because he is very much afraid, very much scared. So, uh, she so wants to bind him. First, <laughs> Catching hold of him was a, quite a task. And the next, next assignment was to bind him up. And that was not easy thing to do. Well, she did think, as you will read through. She thought it was, well, he's just a baby boy and... Uh, I will 
tie a rope around his neck, not neck, the west. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like a cat or something. And uh, I'll tie him up. How, how big is he? Is that, his west is that, oh, that's maybe nine inches or one foot at the most. So probably she bought the rope that was that long and uh, was trying to put rope around his waist. But what happened? Amazing thing happened. But that long rope and that round his waist. Why am I not able to hmm, tie him? It's short. How much? Two fingers. One, two. Two fingers short. Oh, only two fingers short. Okay, I will get another two meter long rope. He managed to get another rope and tie to the earlier rope and Short again. How much short? And more rope, and more rope, and more rope. And <laughs> neighboring ladies were helping out with the ropes. Hey, take my rope. But they wanted finally. Finally, has, he has been caught. White-handed. Not red-handed. White-handed. White butter. So Yeshua always said, You are only complaining. You, you should catch him. Hmm? And bring him to me. Then I will believe. That he steals the butter. No I don't believe. I don't believe. You think there is no butter at my. Or home. We have 900,000 cows. But as complaints continued. And. Uh, so that Diwali day she thought. Okay, fine, there's lots of butter at home, but maybe it is not good quality because the butter is churned by the, the maid servants and others. Today, I will do this myself. And with the milk of the very special cows, they are also fed very special grass and special water and their milk and their yogurt and then that butter. So that's how she thinking that maybe butter is not good quality at our home. So she was personally churning the butter that day. Oh. And that's why she did not attend to Krishna. She got up and started churning butter. So then as the ladies were helping with the, with the ropes, it is said, see, you went to Goshala and took the ropes from the cows. Cows were untied. <laughs> so all that rope, all that rope. And every time the rope was two fingers short. So what's going on here? What is that? He is a uh, 
ये दामोदर आस्तक लास्ट प्रेयर नमस्ते स्तु दामने स्पूरदीप्ति धामने त्वदीयो दरायाथ विश्वश्य धामने I offer my obeisances unto the rope. Namaste, Namaha Astute Damne. Oh rope, oh dear rope. <laughs> I offer my obeisances unto you. Spura Dipti Dhamne. You are a board of the effulgence. You are effulgent rope or as the effulgence all, all around there also. Tvadiya, Tvadiyo Darayata Vishwashadhamne. You are Tvadiya uh, Udar. Your belly is Vishwashadhamne. You are a board of Vishwa. You are a board of entire universe. And not one universe, all the universes are within you. Tvadiya dara udarayata vishvashat. Your udar, your stomach, your belly is a board of residence of all the brahmandas. So if the brahmandas are within him, how long rope do you need? Just to put the rope around the earth, you need how long? 25,000 miles or kilometers? Hmm? You don't know. So that long rope just to put around one, one planet and more planets and more planets more planetary systems and one universe and another and another and another and they're all in him. So you need a rope that goes all around all the universes. Huh? So there's so that is the Lord. That is that's him so tying him up who is going to tie all the bundle all the universes together bundle them up <clears throat> so uh, he's just a child but there are these matters underlying, not mentioned. Here, you know, he is a supreme personality of God here, and he is uh, uh, from him all from his expansion, Balaram and Shankarshan, and then Mahavishnu, and from the pores of Mahavishnu, the body, this pores all over. Uh, all the universes come out. And so he's not being described here as Supreme Personality of Godhead. Mm. That's the beauty of Vrindavan pastimes. That's the, well, yes, that's the beauty of also this relationship Vatsalya Ras, mother and child. But it is there, but not spelled out. Or even if it, it is not, not understood, have eaten dirt. When Balaram says, ye have taken dirt. No, 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 no. Not me. I'm a good boy. Not me. No, no. So you should also have a stick. Open your mouth. 
Ah, the looking inside the mouth, and what was there? Oh, Brahman was there at Brahman Ghat. Hmm? Whole Brahman inside the mouth of the Lord. And within that Brahman, Yeshoda also, oh, there, there's the earthly planet also. Look, I'm seeing earth. Oh, India, India. <laughs> India. And uh, oh, that's the Delhi Agra Highway, <laughs> National Highway. There's also Jamuna there. Gokul. And Yashoda. Inside the mouth, she saw also Yashoda herself. And she's, she has a stick and Krishna in the front in his this whole dialogue going on. What was outside was also inside there. So well, when Ashoda saw that Brahman, she fainted. What did I see? Was that a dream? It's a ghost? What, 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 what was it? So, so immediately, hmm, there was a glimpse of universe, and then again she is taken over, overwhelmed by yoga maya, so that she, she remains the mother. So Krishna, without any traces of his godhood, Bhagavatta, the Vaikuntha and all that. God is great and awe and reverence and Jaya Jagadisha Hade. That only begins when Krishna came to Mathura. Residents of Mathura, they came on the streets and they were greeting Krishna and Balaram and hmm, some arati performance. In Vrindavan, there's a stick. <laughs> you get a stick. In Vrindavan, is Time to take lunch. Krishna is in the middle of his play and he showed the night. Stop, stop this. I say, stop it. No, I, I'm, I'm playing. No, your father is waiting. It's time for lunch. It's one o'clock. And he was fasting yesterday. <laughs> Something. So then, Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is bewildered now. The friends say, hey, the game is not over. You can't leave us, leave in the middle. Otherwise, tomorrow, we don't play with you. So Yashoda is dragging <laughs> with a stick. Father is waiting. He had to drop everything. The friend said, no, 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 not now. Don't do this. So, uh, so all these the Prema Madhurya of the Lord or Leela Madhurya of the Lord. Venu Madhurya of the Lord and Rupa Madhurya of the Lord. This is very exceptional. This is what makes him Krishna, 
Vrindavan Krishna. And he's just a child of Yashoda. And he's, he's naughty. Mm -hmm. Children are naughty, so he's, he's naughtiest. Mm -hmm. No one could match his naughtiness. It's natural for a child to be naughty, so he's being naughty. And uh, they show that things, it is her duty to control the child, or beat if necessary, chastise him and all that. So these are out of this world. Yeah. Not only out of this world, but out of Vaikunt. Hmm? These dealings are not even found in Vaikunt, are not in Dwaraka, not in Mathura also. This is Vrindavan's special, hmm? speciality of Vrindavan. What is it? Yeah, son. I had to sing four songs. <laughs> so we had Kirtan Mela yesterday, 16 hours. Now we'll have eight hours of bhajans. This would require a whole sandhya, bhajan sandhya. Yeah, so I think we we covered some of the points related with well, in this verse. They show that has captured Krishna as the point, and uh, what next and next and next that would follow with oh, the love love for the Lord and issue that is When it comes to love for the Lord, that is Yashoda's love for the Lord, Nanda Maharaja's love for the Lord, and the coward boy's friend's love for the Lord, and the cows also love the Lord, and the water loves the Lord, flowers love the Lord. Whole Vrindavan loves the Lord. And then what to speak of? Ramya kachidupasana vrajavadhu varginaya kalpita. The vrajavadhus gopangana. The young damsels of Braj. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took that as mm, the supreme. Mm. If you're talking of loving the Lord, loving dealings with the Lord, gopis are as the the glaring, mm, the, the top most. Example. So these are 
So with these with his loving dealings then Lord is Aham Bhaktaha Paradhinaha Aham Bhaktaha Paradhinaha hmm? Adhinaha Bhakta Adhinaha My devotees control me The loving devotees control them. When, when they have no love, then he controls them. <laughs> and loving devotees. So Yashoda is that loving devotee. Okay, and besides this, the song idea, any other <laughs> um, questions you have? Any questions, comments? I'll just sing one short one. <laughs> 